So uh, I just want to kind of uh, how you fed George just after it. Now? Yeah. I, um, let me put it this way. I I feel, I feel like a different person. Uh, unfortunately, it's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting a long time to say that one. All along. Yeah. No, I feel, uh, I feel fantastic. Uh, I've started water skiing again. Now, water skiing, when you start water skiing, it's the pain that you go through for the first few weeks uh, is incredible. Uh, I, I, I was up first time, I've done like three or four runs out. Other people that have gone with me, they're wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. And it's like, I, I haven't felt a thing. So if you had to kind of describe it to someone um, about keeping you, what would you say about it? Uh, um, it's been gruelling, uh, but there's one, one thing that stays inside you is that you know how good, how much good it's doing to you. Uh, and it has done me so good. Uh, Keats and you, you, I think, are fantastic. Uh, and, um, and I'm going to stay on afterwards. Yeah. So if you had just one line to describe your experience, what would you say? My experience is here. Uh, one line to describe it. I would say the one thing that really like, stands out is that I am a fit person now. Uh, it has made me a fit person. It has brought the person that is underneath all the, um, the layers of uh, fat that were on top of me. It's brought him out and he's a fit person. Uh, and, uh, and I owe it all to uh, Keto New Year. Thanks, George. So, how did you find the last four weeks? Brilliant. Um, first week, really, really tiring and tested my muscles. They were in a coma for the last few years, I'm sure, because they were hit with a bang. And, but once I got over that initial shock <laughs> to my body, every other training session, I'm, I've been pushed. But I don't get that grueling pain. But I know it's working. Like, I, I see the, diff the benefits of it in the mirror. I actually walk past the mirror and I actually stop and stare for like two minutes going, it's, it's not hard to come back, is it? Or I'd be looking at my arms and really checking myself out. I'm like... That's vanity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I didn't know what that was. I usually could have George, we don't talk chose about up that. not yeah, in the body, you know? But no. So I'll, I'll actually give you that one line. What would you, about Keith Neal, what would you um, describe this place or describe the lights or describe how you feel after this? Absolutely amazing. I never thought I would, I, I, like I haven't been this way. I'm 13 stone six pounds, hopefully a few less now again by Monday. But at the moment, I, I haven't been this way since before I was pregnant, which was five years ago. And I never thought I was going to see this. And I'm going to see a lot more because I am going to join yeah. here yeah. when the competition is over and get down to my ultimate goal. Whatever that is, I don't know. But at the moment, I feel absolutely brilliant. I feel like I could go off out in a bikini now. Even though I'm not quite that ready yet. But well, I, 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 I don't worry, don't worry. Let's go. Is that the challenge? Just, yeah. just the confidence. The confidence alone. It's like I feel good about me. For the first time in a long time, I feel good, and that's thanks to the people here. No doubt. So, uh, how did you feel after the last four weeks? Well, I suppose I came into this being the unfittest of the lot, and probably with the most weight to lose, the heaviest by far. I'd say I made up the two of them together, actually. <laughs> um, I found it an amazing experience. I suppose everybody carries weight for different reasons. Yeah. I know what my reasons were for carrying weight. Yeah. It wasn't excessive abuse of food. Yeah, yeah. And the four weeks I was, I had to face different challenges. Yeah. Apart from physical challenges, a lot of emotional ones as well. Yeah. And what I loved about being here, and I will single out one trainer being Jason because I kind of, I, I trained with him every week. I found him not just a great trainer, I found him a great confidant. Yeah. And I think that's so important when you're trying to achieve something you want to achieve. You need that special friend, that special confidant, a special mentor that's going to push you that extra bit. And what I loved about coming here, and I used to enjoy training with him, is that even when you felt hard, felt going wrong, he was there with you, yeah. encouraging every step of the way. Um, I've loved the training. I've loved the diets. Okay. Um, had questionable moments, I guess. I haven't strayed from it. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, my work schedule driving a taxi. I mean, I could be out late at night and then I'm not up so early in the morning. So 
I work it around so that I get the hours in and get the, the foods in at the right times. Uh, but I'm enjoying it. Like, do you think this four weeks has changed your life? It's starting to. Yeah. This is not a four week experience yeah. for me. This is a lifelong journey. Uh, and I've said that from the outset. You know, people have said to me, why didn't you do this before? Well, I could have, uh, but I wasn't ready. Yeah. So it's, it's a life changing opportunity to me. I mean, in the four weeks, who would have said when I came in here on the first Monday that four weeks later I'd be walking two miles in a day, having done a training session? I wouldn't have believed it. Um, it's, it's wonderful now when I sing in the cathedral. I can actually walk up the steps and I'm ready to sing. I don't have to wait five or ten minutes yeah. to get my breath back. It's so decent. I'm not ending at this after yeah. four weeks. Yeah. This, I mean, I've lost what? Up to yesterday, something like 19 pounds. That's amazing. Jesus, bring it on. Yeah.